All right, welcome back. My name is Dave. Uh, this is the Radical Independent. Thank you for being here. Thanks to you free radicals for checking out uh, this channel, as I think this channel might go through some um, rebirth or revitalization due to the fact that there's a presidential candidate out there who I can support. His name is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And he officially announced that he is running for president yesterday. Uh, you'll notice that uh, your local media did not even mention, <laughs> they didn't talk about, never mind carrying any portion of his speech. I have to say, as far as content goes for a political speech, that might have been the best speech I've heard in, I can't tell you how long, uh, many, many years. And there have been some interesting speeches uh, given uh, by political candidates, well-written speeches. Um, if you notice, Robert F. Kennedy was not using a teleprompter, no teleprompter. Uh, he was speaking off the cuff. He may have had an outline that he was following, but he covered all of the big issues. And you know, the only thing the media is talking about, other than Tucker Carlson and Fox News and a few other more independent-minded outlets, the only thing they're talking about is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is anti-vax. Tucker Carlson is embracing an anti-vaxxer. Jimmy Dore will be embracing an anti-vaxxer. I haven't even heard from him, but I imagine that he's probably pretty excited about this candidacy. Um, this speech was unifying. Uh, it embraced tradition. There were American symbols. There was an American flag. There was patriotic music being played. Part of the speech was devoted to uh, both his father and his uncle, both of whom were killed, and also Martin Luther King Jr., who was also killed. All right, notice that there is, you know, a theme going there. And for some of us, we're probably a little concerned about Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s safety. Um, and the news media who are going to try to pick apart RFK Jr. on his vaccine stance. That's what they're going to try to do. Uh, this is going to be all uh, geared toward making him look like a kook, like a crazy person. Uh, he gave one of the best um, explanations as to what's going on with the war in Ukraine said Russia went in, that's not legal, which, you know, some of us, including myself, may have been a little bit um, not as concerned about the legality of what Russia did because of the way the United States operates all the time and we're running off a 20 plus year war on terror, 30 plus year war on terror declaration and None of it has to be approved. Congress doesn't have to vote on it. So do I cut Russia slack in that area? Yeah. Do I wish there wasn't an actual hot war going on? Of course. So RFK Jr. makes that point, but then moves on to the corruption, to the fact that we're sending all this money to Ukraine. He talked about foreign entanglements. <laughs> this should make every libertarian an old school conservative and old school progressive smile. He's talking about how the founders said to avoid foreign entanglements and it's all over their writings. Don't chase monsters all over the place, which we've been doing now, some would say since what? <laughs> I don't know, a hundred years now? I don't know, you'd have to come up with a number. Some people who, you know, can justify World War II. And I know there are going to be some people that make comments, and this is why I screen the commentary, because no matter what you say about war, someone is going to say, well, no, you got it wrong. It's even worse than what you said. And I get it. The point, the overarching point is RFK Jr. 
said what needed to be said, and the media is just going to focus on vaccines, okay? And by the way, I have no trouble with his views. In fact, I embrace, so count me in as one of these crazy people, right, who wasn't willing to just go down to CVS multiple times because the media told me so. And Carlson, who has his faults for some, especially on the left, uh, Tucker Carlson is the only one kind of doing a pivot on the narrative. Finally, the rest of the news media, yeah, some in the so-called conservative media have done a pivot, but it's kind of like the Donald Trump thing. Trump can't say, hey, this was bad. Hey, this was stupid. In fact, RFK Jr. did something which I think really shows that he's serious because he he took a shot at Trump and said this was his baby, Operation Warp Speed. And you Trumpers out there, explain to me how Operation Warp Speed was a good thing and how not um, basically doing a mea culpa on it, which Trump just refuses to do because of the art of the deal. He just refuses to show weakness and show any kind of humility and say, you know, I was wrong. I was misled. But RFK Jr. painted a very um, different picture with uh, Scott, was it Scott Gottlieb and these people who essentially, you know, it was a revolving door between government and pharma. And nobody is more researched on this topic than RFK Jr. Nobody. So shut up. Shut up. If you're going to if you're going to debunk him, if you're going to rebuke him somehow, then you better bring your game because he's got facts and you don't. He's got receipts and you guys all you need to do is a little bit of investigative journalism, which hasn't happened in three years. You get funded by pharma. Everybody's getting funded by pharma. There could be a hey, if I get an ad that gets placed on this video, it could be pharma. It could be a pharma ad. You need to go and get this updated booster. All right. And do I like that? No. But people should be able to think for themselves, you know, hey, you want to advertise? Advertise all you want. But you know what? It's up to us to get the facts, to, to understand what these products are and what they can and what they might do and what they might not do. I mean, I'm so tired of this anti-vaxxer, anti-vaxxer. Shut up. All right. It's up to me, my body, my choice. How's that? How's that, you losers? So yeah, I mean, first, okay, let me get back to the speech here. I'm fired up because I'm just, I'm tired of this BS. So he, he gets the war in Ukraine right. He gets the corporatocracy, okay? One of the most important parts of this speech was the collusion. You want real collusion? Between government and corporations. And by the way, he didn't embrace socialism. He talked about the free market and he said the free market and then there's crony capitalism. And it's gone further now because the line is blurred between corporation and state. And he's bringing something that is, I, I hate to say it, it's, it's probably more important than the vaccine issue because people do have free will or, you know, I think informed people will decide that it's worth the sacrifice. It's worth being ostracized not to participate in what everybody is telling me to do. Okay. And the war in Ukraine, which, you know, we've got soldiers coming home from Ukraine. Uh, and I know of at least one in a body bag. So is this a hot war that we're participating in? Again, he pointed that out. He pointed out the corporatocracy. And I think he reiterated some of that with Tucker Carlson. Yeah, folks, if you want to throw Carlson under the bus, be just because some of you think he's a right winger and he's a lunatic. And look, I don't know if I'm going to agree with RFK Jr. on the culture war. He didn't talk too much about that. But if he is advocating for children, I can't imagine in a hundred years him saying something like, yeah, what Boston Children's Hospital wants to do is good. And that kids at whatever age can make that decision or their parents can make that decision for them. I want to hear more on those topics. I really do, because that's a cult. 
and it's a dangerous cult because it's a trendy thing. Folks, you can look at the numbers. This Most of this stuff didn't exist just a few years ago. And now it's it's everywhere in the media, every day, trans this, trans that. And you're just sitting there going, what is going on? What is going on? And again, I don't expect that's going to be his number one issue, unfortunately. I wish it was in his top five, but some of these larger issues that he is bringing to the forefront, um, it, he's the best candidate. He is the best candidate, probably the best candidate running for president. I don't know. Again, since um, <laughs> since his dad, maybe. Who knows? I, I don't know. I Again, you look at all the presidents we've had. I mean, Reagan ended up being, you know, all right for a lot of people. Some people hated Reagan. Um, I think the country was pretty good in the 80s. And even during Clinton, I didn't hate the 90s as far as peace and prosperity. Of course, all of the stuff that we have now is a result of a lot of those policies that were implemented in the 80s and 90s. No question about it. And I'm not going to excuse those. I'm just saying as far as the quality of my life, it was pretty good for a couple of years under Donald Trump. It was good. It was good. But the swamp did not get drained. And then, you know, you have a crisis. And what do you do? You go in with, okay, another thing he mentioned. <laughs> I'm just stream of consciousness here. The transfer of wealth during the lockdown. And boy, did he go in hard on the lockdown and how the kids are faring these days and what's happening to IQ and test scores and reading ability and mental illness and suicide. It's, it's you know, the mental illness situation kind of coincides with this trans stuff. And all of that, I think, may have been just exacerbated by the pandemic, by the lockdowns. Here is a guy who says never again, never again. And the media says, oh, I don't know, it might happen any day now, it might happen tomorrow. We have to be aware, there's a fungus out there, there's this, there's that. It's like, shut up, shut up. We wanna get back to doing what we do, all right? Being productive citizens. And RFK Jr., he ain't like other Democrats. In fact, he basically said, if you are politically homeless, all right, and this channel is called the Radical Independent. I am a registered independent. You know what stinks in the state of Florida is if I wanna vote for RFK Jr. in the primary, I'm gonna have to become a Democrat. Yay, I don't wanna become a Democrat, all right? Uh, but you know, if RFK Jr. was able to reform his entire party, which I pretty much think is impossible. In fact, the long shot part of this is number one, I worry for the guy's safety. And number two, I mean, if anybody agitates a little, Bernie Sanders agitated a little, Donald Trump agitated a little, now we've got a full 100% agitator from top to bottom. I mean, there's very little I disagree with him on. His abortion stance is a little bit nuanced and uh, I understand why he takes that approach um it has been really divisive and honestly i was telling my wife and we're both very pro-life i'm saying pushing this as hard as they are this is like it's like stirring up a hornet's nest and it's creating one issue voters where quite honestly again this isn't the number one issue it, it never has been it it wasn't the number one issue prior to the court's ruling, and it's still not the number one issue, but it's driving certain people to the polls. Again, maybe some of those people wouldn't be in favor of abortion, but they just don't like how much the government is uh, going in on this hard in some states. I think states should make their own laws on the issue. I believe in the Constitution. I believe in the Tenth Amendment. And so those states, you know, if you want to have a sanctuary state like California, just again, let's do the experiment and see uh, which state is the better state in the long run, where people are truly happy. And if you don't like where you live, you might want to consider moving to a different state. I mean, I'm still 
kind of uh, pondering the idea of a national divorce, which I think would be the ultimate goal, especially if somebody like RFK Jr. does not succeed. All right. So some people are also saying, you know, hey, Tulsi Gabbard, be a great running mate for RFK Jr. She, she, and, and 100%. I, where do they disagree on anything? I, I don't think they disagree very much. I mean, um, they may have some minor disagreements, but this would be an incredible ticket. And my final comment is I don't really like the fact that he's running as a Democrat, but I understand logistically for ballot access, um, you got to be on one of these two parties. I hate to say it. Um, you know, the libertarians are out there. I think they would embrace a lot of the RFK Jr. agenda. However, there'd be some economic stuff that they would take uh, issue with. Same with Tulsi Gabbard. Um, look, he is a left of center populist. That's what he is. But he could also be a new kind of conservative, too. There's all kinds of labels you could throw on him. All I know is that I'm not that concerned about the labels. I'm concerned with what he said and that speech. Go listen to the speech. He was on point. At times he was humorous. At other times he was he was dead serious. He talked about his father and his uncle, and he kind of refreshed the memory of a lot of folks that had forgotten about how bad the 1960s were when it came to actual civil rights issues and actual grievances and government power, like the war in Vietnam, those sorts of things. I mean, just fill in the blank. We go from war uh, in Vietnam, now we've got war in Ukraine. And we just go around. And he painted, a, he also went in on the war in Iraq. Um, I don't know if he talked that much about Afghanistan. But he sees these things as wasteful. And he had in just numbers that our national debt's like over 30 trillion or something, right? Deficit, debt, whatever it's called. And I mean, he found like 24 trillion of it or something during his speech. He found about that much. And I'm sure if you keep looking around, you can find the rest of it. And he even mentioned, you know, printing the money is a tax, it's inflation, it hurts the poor. Here's a guy who's talking about the poor. Nobody talks. I mean, does Biden talk about the poor? No. Does Trump talk about the poor? Yeah, kind of, but not really. Not in these stark and vivid terms with receipts and no teleprompter. I mean, I don't know if he's going to do that every speech, but my guess is he might. Um, so, yeah, am I on board with this? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Just like I was on board with Tulsi Gabbard before she endorsed Joe Biden, which was one of the worst days of my life, quite honestly. But with RFK Jr., <laughs> I don't think he's going to endorse. I mean, if he loses, I can't say, well, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to say he's going to surprise everybody. There are a lot of people that like Donald Trump, but are fed up. And then people come at me and say, we're not fed up. You're just making it sound like we're fed up. He's crushing DeSantis. Okay, fine. But I know that there are some people that are a little uneasy with the cult of Trump, all right? He may have some good points. Um, he's fun to listen to, but I am done with fun to listen to, all right? And people will say, yeah, you know, RFK Jr., he's hard to listen to. Okay, he's hard to listen to. But what he says to me is more important than how he sounds, all right? And... Anyway, I think it might garner even more sympathy for the guy because he he is he doesn't care. He's fearless and he doesn't care the way he sounds. He doesn't care about his past. He wants to make a difference now. And I think we should fully embrace what he's doing. And uh, look, if this isn't your cup of tea because you think he's just uh, too progressive or this and that, I, I just I hear somebody who's like a new kind of conservative slash progressive. That's what I, I, I mean, I don't know how to describe it. It's the best of everything. And I think we should just erase the labels and not worry about the labels and see where this goes. 
Uh, anyway, I got the shirt. See, I got the T-shirt. So I think I might be the only one in my town that has an RFK Jr. T-shirt. Um, why not? Why not? I mean, the things that he advocates for are the things that most Americans want and need. Uh, and he's doing some great education when it comes to the war in Ukraine and uh, these wonderful pharmaceutical products that are not doing what they claim to be doing. So in some cases, doing the opposite of what they claim to be doing. Uh, and if you think I'm concerned that he's a he's an anti-vaxxer and blah, 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 pff, that's one of the reasons I support him. How's that? How's that for apples, huh? Anyway, <laughs> uh, that's it. That's my video, folks. So um, I would go over to his website, donate some money, donate five bucks, 10 bucks, do something, man. Get some, if he's got merchandise, I ordered this shirt, I think, uh, from some website that was not, you know, from his direct campaign. So if he's got stuff available, I would go get that stuff. Check out his interview with Tucker Carlson, too, because I think it's amazing. And um, I've got a little bit of hope today. I've got a little bit of hope. Maybe um, we don't know what's coming because I don't think the media is going to take this lying down. The fact that the media is uh, controlling our country this much uh, is, is so outrageous and it's just, it's unacceptable. And um, of course he mentioned the media too. Uh, he didn't call them the enemy of the people, but um, he had some harsh words for those people and good for him. Anyone who doesn't address the media uh, they're in on it. They're they're just in on it. They they like the coverage they're getting, and uh, they're gonna ride that coverage as far as it will take them. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. I am going to be covering RFK Jr. Uh, this is much like what happened when Tulsi Gabbard ran for president, and I feel as though uh, I need to have a presence on here covering RFK because he's going to get so much negativity and crap coming his way that I need to be the equal time against what is uh, sure to be an onslaught of negativity and untruths that uh, will try to be the mainstream narrative. We have to smack that narrative down and uh, be our own investigators and tell the truth. So there you have it. Done. See you soon.